Welcome to Laquita's Toolbox, where we deliver relevant content in the form of tools that empower entrepreneurs to elevate personally and professionally. Good is only good until greater is envisioned. You know there's another level in you. Here we discuss the tools to get you there. Lean in as Laquita and her guests present you with strategies and insight for unlocking your full potential to realize your bold. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another amazing episode of Laquita's Toolbox. I am your host, Laquita Momley, and I am absolutely excited about today. First of all, I'm excited because this is the day that the Lord has made and we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Amen. That is the top thing that I'm excited about today. But the other thing is I have an amazing guest in studio with me today, Miss Erica Latrice, returning toolbox listeners, you know the drill, get something to write with and something to write on because Miss Erica is going to leave us some amazing tools today that will help us improve both professionally as well as personally. Before we get started in the interview today, let me take a moment to thank our sponsors at Covenant Press. Covenant Press is a faith-based Christian apparel and accessory shop online where we as believers can shop online for clothing and accessory items that allow us to wear the message of the love of Jesus Christ. Go out to www.covenant.com dash press.com. Again, that's www.covenant dash press.com. Shop until you drop, ladies and gentlemen. And when you get to the checkout, if you weren't too hasty and you didn't click off those pop-ups, you should have received a code that you can place at the appropriate place at checkout to receive some amazing discounts and savings on your purchases with Covenant Press. Again, that's www.covenant dash press.com. Hey, 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 Miss Erica, how are you today? How are you? All is going well. I'm excited to be here. As you already know, I just love your energy. I love what you do and how you show up for so many people. Amen. Amen. Listen, I'm loving you as well. Thank you so much for your yes and for agreeing to be on um, Laquita's Toolbox today. I know you have some great gems to share you're going to talk to us all about Amplify Her. We're going to talk about just, I mean, you are a woman of many gifts and many talents. And so I want to make sure that the Laquitas Toolbox audience knows how to connect with you and can be able to grasp some of this value that you have to add. So look, for the few people on the planet, because you you talk about me showing up, you showing up, sis. You be showing up and showing out. All right. So for the few people that might not know who you are, give them a, a little brief um, about who you are. Yes. Well, thank you for that. Um, I'm Erica Latrice. I say all the time, my passion, my purpose is helping you to live. And I do that through Amplify Her. As Laquita mentioned, um, it's a women's organization. We are officially international and I help women turn their messages into movement. It's all about um, expanding your reach, increasing your voice, and expanding your story. I am newly married. And that's exciting for me because my family doubled in less than a year. And I share that because I know so often we can think that things are always going to be how they are. Things can't change. And I kept talking about restoration, God doing it expediently. And literally, um, I've been able to see all the things that I talk about and try to push everybody else. I've been able to see it happen firsthand. So I have a at the time that we're recording, I have a four-month-old a newborn who is reintroducing me into motherhood because <laughs> I thought I had it. People are like, I'm going to be a new mother. I'm like, I'm not a new mother. I got a teenager. And then I'm like, Lord, I guess I am new because I don't remember this. So, yeah, so I am that mom, wife, entrepreneur, and I love to work with women to get their voice out. I love you. I love your message, man. I love your message. You know, take your message and turn it into a movement. If, am I saying that right? Yes. Let me make take your message and turn it into a movement, y'all. Like, do you understand how powerful that word movement is? Turning it into a movement. I love it. Where where did you like get the inspiration? Where did that that idea, that message that what did it come from to help women turn their message into a movement? 
Yes. And you got it right. You sound like a brand ambassador. Okay. I love it. I I like it. it. Come on. (laughs) So this is an interesting story. Now, if my friend is watching this, she's going to, um, she'll enjoy this moment. I'm going to make sure she watches this interview because she is the inspiration behind Amplify Her. And I know it was nothing but a God moves, Mm. God moment. Um, I was using a totally different name and the name that I was using, she was like, Erica, I want to use that name. And I was like, sis, no, I'm already using that name. And she was like, okay, well just help me brainstorm another name. So Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I'll brainstorm another name, but I'm using this one. Um, and we get on the phone to brainstorm. And when I tell you, it hit me like we were throwing out names. And I was like, girl, the only way I would ever change my name, and I was committed to this other name, is if like it had to have something with the word her in it. And there ain't nothing like that. And then it was just like, boom, amplify her. And the moment mm. that I got like that, everything else made sense. The mission, the vision, turning messages into movement, expand her reach, increase her voice to stand on her story. From that moment, literally within a year, we had our, launched a tour and literally traveled across the U.S., uh, bringing women together under Amplify Her, trademark, everything. I'm like, so when God tells you something, move on it. Um, that yeah. was how it was worth. I was trying to do something else that I came up with, and then God gave me Amplify Her through a friend. Through a friend. Wow. Listen, yes. when, you hear, when, when, you hear, when you hear his voice, <laughs> when you hear his voice, don't hasten the move, yes. right? You were locked in on a whole other name. And now in this journey to help your friend find a name, the Lord was like, "Uh uh-uh, this is you right here. Amplify her. Send your message, your movement. Come on. I love it. I love it. And so you're saying within a year, you would launch a nationwide tour. My God. Come on. This is the word today, Laquita, because we had to run this back today. This interview, we have to just keep running back connections. Every time I connect with you, it's always like, you know, things coming. But that's it. Like, I feel like I've heard it said so many times that when God is restoring a thing, he does it with speed. And I just remember like stuff that I thought was going to take years was happening so fast. But prior to that, when I was trying to make everything happen in my own might, And Mm. movement, like that's even why I talk about movement because it's literally forward. It's like, if you keep Mm. hitting a brick wall, sometimes we just need to sit down somewhere sometimes and just be quiet. And that's why we're hitting the brick wall. But a lot Mm -hmm. of times when you find that that vision is not moving, how you know, you're like, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. I'm making all the phone calls and being in the room and everything. And it's just not showing up. It's not doing what it needs to do get quiet and watch because when God breathes on something, I'm telling you like it's that, that Amos, there's a um, verse in Amos that talks about in the message version, it'll be so fast your head will swim. And yeah. you know, um, yeah. well, I won't turn this into a whole church service. I was about to tell you yeah, all to turn to Joel 225. Okay. <laughs> if you do, if you happen to turn to Joel. <laughs> he also talking about restoring the years, you know, that the canker yeah. worm and the locusts and, and all on. of that, like I can oh. restore Man, yes, yes, I love it. I love it when, when God is in it, He doesn't do, He doesn't do anything by half. Right, He doesn't do anything mm. by half. He's all in. He's one hundred percent committed to us, as long as we are one hundred percent committed to Him. And yes. I love that. So no matter what has happened, even whether you jumped the gun and tried to do it on your own. I mean, I could raise both my hands and feet on that and get guilty of having done that in the past. But when he's in it, he expedites things because he yes. doesn't desire for, uh, for us to remain in places of desperation, despair, you know, uh, and in mm-hmm. places where we will begin to make some decisions to sue the right now problem that have a long term consequence. But he, when he gets in it, we don't have to do all that. Obstacles are still going to happen, y'all. I don't think Erica is saying, I know I'm not saying that. Oh, when God in it, it's smooth sailing and there will be no problems. The lies, lies. Right. <laughs> oh, that's the truth. Come on. It will still, it will still be problems, but it, the, the clarity of your vision, the clarity of your mission, the clarity of your purpose, it's there and that will keep you pushing forward no matter what comes your way. Yes, so, it's the clarity. Thank you, Laquita. That's that's so beautiful how you put that. The clarity, because the clarity is like if you could just see that thing, even when the obstacles come up, 
Um, even when things come up, and I don't know, let me know if I'm getting too preachy because <laughs> I feel like you just got an anointed on you. <laughs> Go ahead, and, and I'm just like, okay, because Joshua, I like to throw out oh, the reference on, points so people know. Yes, yeah, yeah, they don't have to, I'm not making this up, not, you know. But in Joshua 1, he said there were there's going to be giants in the land. So like you said, there's okay. going to be obstacles. There are going to be things that come up against you. But that clearly, like you said, is the thing that's going to keep you going. So even when people may not be on board, people may have already looked to possess it. Someone else thought they was going to have that name. Someone else thought they were going to be able to do it. But when you're a grace for something, you're able to withstand the obstacles. You're able to keep going and even experience speed when the obstacles come. So that's, yes. that clarity is good. I love that. That clarity. And, and you mentioned Joshua. It, you know, it, it made me think about, you know, when Moses sent the 10 spies in, Joshua and Caleb were the only two that came back with a good report. Oh. They were the yes. only two that came back. You know, the land was filled with milk and honey and giants occupied the land. And sometimes when we're stepping into entrepreneurship or even whether we're advancing in our careers, giants do occupy the land. Big people with big dreams, big visions and big abilities tend to occupy the spaces that we want to be in. So what are we going to do? Are we going to do like the other eight? Oh, it's like, oh, no, we can't do that. They'll kill us. We're like grasshoppers. Are we yes. going to be like Caleb was in the book of Joshua? When Joshua took over for Moses, Caleb said, I check this out. Caleb was like 80 plus at this time. He was a young man when Moses sent him. He was elderly <laughs> when Joshua took over. Caleb said, look, give me my mountain. I was ready to fight. 40 years ago with mm. you, Joshua. I'm ready to fight right now. Give me my mountain. And that's what clarity does. Like, Come 40 on. years ago, yes. it was clear. He was clear that he was to occupy that land. No doubts in his mind. And that did mm. not change through 40 years of time. When you are doing the thing that God called you to do in business, or whether mm. it's your entrepreneurship journeys, or, you know, your ministry journeys, or again, if you're climbing the corporate ladder, wherever you find yourself at, your vision won't change. Now, the route you take to get there, we might make some adjustments along the way, but that clarity, it'll make you go in and take your mouth and look, Joshua's one of my favorite books. I don't even I know why you was in good company. I don't even know why you have to say that like that. Hand me yeah, all of this. I topic. named my son Joshua because of that. I would have took Caleb, but I have a cousin who named her son Caleb. So we have our Caleb and our Joshua. See, and they're just look, about a year apart. And they act like Caleb and Joshua. <laughs> they go in to possess the land everywhere, to, <laughs> everywhere they go. <laughs> but yes. Going in to possess the land. I love it. I love it. I love it. But really, that's the principle that you're teaching women through Amplify Her. Yes. To turn your message into a movement? Like, now you got me all up in the Google. I got to go to the Google for a minute because that word movement, we mm. think about, you know, do we really understand the power of that, of what that means? Like, what does the word movement mean? Because we know, we understand what our message is, or at least we think we do. When we want, you know, we have a message, but how do we take that message into a movement? The a movement, um, I'm looking up on Google and it says movement. One of the definitions is an act of changing physical location or position having been changed, a change or development. You're helping to people change their position. I'll take yeah. it even further. The act of processing or moving. If, if they're looking at it as changing their physical location, but also changing your location spiritually mm -hmm. by teaching women through Amplify Her how to turn their message into a movement. And they're moving forward in the thing that God called them to do. How many women are they taking with them in mm -hmm. a forward direction? I mean, that's more than movement in the natural. Now you just, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, sis, because I'm going to shut up because I'm interviewing you and I'm talking. This right here, I'm going to appreciate it. I want you to know that. Like, <laughs> I'm receiving it. I'm telling you because you just have such an anointing, Laquita. And I, every time I get around you, and y'all might be thinking I've known Laquita for centuries, right? I'm like, every time we get together, it's like been a short time. But you just have such an anointing on you. 
So when you started th talking about that, even that, like the word move coming about, it's about action. It also made me think about the prerequisite for movement. You have to remove certain things in order for you to move. And you, you're military, so you understand. A lot of moving happens <laughs> when you are in that military environment. I think about so many times that we moved, but in order for us to move, we always had to remove certain things. And whether we we had to assess those things. And so I would um I would say to those of you too that know you have a message. There are people, there are ide ideas, ideology, things that have to be removed in order for you to move. And when you get that calling and you know there's something that you're supposed to show up with, that's when I feel like God starts sifting us. And I mean, if we take it back to Moses and Joshua, uh, God started sh um shifting and sifting. Folks that was complaining, they didn't get to inherit. Um, they you know, God inherit. rest his soul. Poor Moses didn't make it. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. In fact, they had a, a expiration date on their grief. God said, "Moses, my servant, is dead. It's time Come to on. cry." You know, it's so time for you don't talk to you. It's time for you to get up. Yes, my people, where they need to come on, sis, and, and move. And so we have to be open to removing certain things. Because when I think about making room, I I talk about that a lot too. Like everyone gets excited, time to make room. You know, your gifts making room, or just make room for more. But that requires us to remove certain things. And the reason that oftentimes we can't inherit all of the vision and see everything that's happening is because we're not willing to let go and release. If I would have mm -hmm. held on to that name. If I would have been like, girl, nope, you're not getting it. You go do this. Like I would have missed out on so much, so yes. much that was for me, but I had to remove um, and stop being so attached. Um, and you know, Laquita probably could break it down. What's in your toolbox that doesn't need to be in there? You know, like what, what are you holding on to? Yes. Attached, yes. trying to drag it with you when, um, and how I showed, shared with y'all that my family doubled in a year. I had to release some things for the first the first part of that year. I had people digging out some stinking thinking, my negative thoughts around relationships, so many things. And then once I released and removed, I was then able to move. So, um, yeah. So movement is it's about action and and right. how you say bring some people with you. Go meet some people where they're at. They've been there the whole time, but you yeah. weren't there. They yeah. over there waiting. They've been sitting in the promised land. Thousands of people waiting for you to come speak. And you missed the engagement because you're over here dealing with, you know, whoever wasn't ready for your message anyways. And God's Come calling on. you to more and calling Come you to on. get over there. It's like, get over there. Your people sitting in the middle of Dallas and here you are, you know, on the coast of Miami crying because no one's listening to you when you mm. needed to be in Dallas anyways. And there's a whole auditorium waiting for you, you waiting know, in you. Dallas. So Come on, sis. you just you just dropped some gems, some tools right there to set some folks free. Let me tell mm -hmm. you, look at this toolbox listeners. I hope y'all were writing that down. But if you weren't, that's okay. It's a podcast. Hit rewind, go back, and do the replay, okay? This is one of those conversations that you have to hear. You know, the, the word says to, to, um, to hear things twice. It's not grievous, right? It's beneficial. And this is one of those podcasts where you're going to have to go back and listen to it several times and get your notes so you can push pause, write that down, hit play, push pause, write another note down <laughs> and hit play yes. again <laughs> because you don't want, you don't want to miss any of these. And guys, if this is your first time tuning in to the Laquita's Toolbox podcast, hit that like, share and subscribe button so that you can receive notifications when new episodes drop weekly. And as well, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. Leave us a review. Let us know what you like. And most importantly, if you don't like some things, we need to know that. I want to know what you like, but I need to know what you don't like because the overall goal of the podcast is to bring you um, guests and tools that can help you grow personally and professionally. And if I'm not achieving that, I need your suggestions on what I can do to help um, reach that goal. Amen. But look, Erica, you said a lot of things. Like I had a couple of nuggets just drop in when you were talking about that. Uh, just now, like the things that you need to learn to let go of. We got, we need to recognize and be willing to unlearn mm -hmm. the things that don't serve us anymore. We need to be willing to let that go. It was for a time and a season. And we need to be willing to adjust to ascend, make the adjustments so that we can ascend. We can't get to Dallas 
because we're refusing to let go of some stuff that's got us stuck in Miami. Mm. Mm. Promised land is in Dallas. Dallas is waiting. All of creation is groaning and waiting in eager anticipation for the arrival of the sons of God. Somebody yeah. is waiting for your message somewhere. Mm. What are we doing? I, th this is the things that I that I heard, you know, in my spirit as Erica was talking. What are we doing right now to prepare ourselves for the place that's already prepared for us? What do we what do we need to let go? What do we need the evaluation? Because even when you were talking about movement so far as uh, being military families, mm -hmm. every time a military family makes a move, we throw away stuff. Mm -hmm. The natural. We throw away some stuff. And to be mm -hmm. honest, we throw away some relationships because sometimes we mm -hmm. develop relationships and duty stations we knew we shouldn't have had. <laughs> right. But we didn't have the, you know, the fortitude to break that relation off. But when the PCS move came, it was going to be real easy because now you here and I'm somewhere in the world, Carmen San Diego. Mm -hmm. So we're oh, not going to communicate. And, and that's so true. So what is it in your life that you are holding on to that you need to let go of? Let yeah. that weight go. Most of the time, I don't know about you, Erica, but we would find stuff and be like, man, I didn't know. How do, where did it come from? Why is it there? And it's dead mm. weight. I got to make sure I make the weight because I'm not paying a quarter mm. of this movement. Because God right. moved. It don't cost you nothing, but you letting baggage go that you don't need. Man, that is another mm. revelation. Reach that too. When That's he good. moves, That's like good. This, this is what was downloading in my mind as you were talking about how you help women through you amplify her, how you help women turn their message into a movement. So you know what? I'm gonna get the floor back to you, woman of God, because I need to be taking notes myself. Why I'm talking. receiving? <laughs> I'm just receiving today. I love it. <laughs> Yes. So how can people, you know, uh, connect with you through Amplify Her? How can they partner with you to learn how to turn their message into a movement? Yes. Well, the best way that you can do it, I love to just go ahead and throw people out there. So get on stage, share your story. And you can do that um, at standonyourstory.com. That's the fastest way that you can get, um, get connected. It's a short application jump in there, share your, um, share your message at my upcoming event. That's, um, going to help so many people. We have virtual events, Laquita, we have in-person events. And I've had so many people tell me the virtual events, they felt like they were in the building. Like they felt like, mm. you know, they were there. And so you just never know how your story is going to impact someone and turn into a movement because when you share it, then other people can't help but get on board. When you start blessing someone or changing someone's life, they can't help but go tell somebody else. Um, so, that's what happened. So I would tell you right now, um, just run to stand on your and sign up to be a part of my upcoming event. Awesome. Listen, y'all, the link will be in the show notes because you need to get on out here. If you have a message, connect with Amplify Her and go out to stand on your I'm, I'm looking at the application now. It's real easy, y'all. Let me help. Let me help you right now because you know sometimes when we hear the move of god and we get some instruction fear try to come in let me help you right now and let me be you know a part of that shield of faith and say hey this is easy i'm looking at it it's really straightforward to the point get in there nothing to fear just click it you ain't even got to type <laughs> it in your purchase all you got to do is click the link y'all click the link get on the application Fill it out and connect with Erica and her team to so they can help you with your journey of turning your message. Excuse me. Yes. From turning your message into a movement. When is your next upcoming event? Yes. Yeah, so we have an event August 18th through the 20th is message to movement. Um, Very unique. Right. Virtual <laughs> summit. We have over. Goodness. I don't know. It's a lot of people. We have a lot of women that have come together. Several thousand have come together already um, as attendees. And I set a goal to have 100 women share their story. And right now, I think we have maybe three spots left. We have about 97. Wow. Um, so it's it's exciting to me because you just never know who you're going to impact. And I've already I done choked up, start crying. Um, hugging people through the screen <laughs> from the, the speakers that we have. I'm like, I can't even wait till the audience gets to hear y'all. This is just a pre-interview. Yes. Um, so 
it's it's going to be amazing and it's free to attend. So um, I'll add that uh, to it. It's free to VIP, I say. So get VIP if you can, you know, treat yourself. But that's <laughs> AmplifyHerMovement.com. So if you just want to attend um, and or maybe our speaker application, if it's full at this point, you can go to AmplifyHerMovement.com and grab your free spot um, at our upcoming event. OK, OK. That will be in the show notes as well, people. That will be in the show notes as well. Click that link so that you can attend. If you didn't get in in time enough to become a speaker, attend the event and make sure that uh, you absorb all of a hundred amazing women that are coming together to bless you with the message that's going to empower you, that's going to encourage you, that's going to help to push you forward. There's, you know, that's a priceless thing right there. We can't put a price on that. Get in the room, be in the room with that amazing energy so that you can then go ahead and apply for the next event after this one so yes. that you can be a speaker and be a blessing to someone else. Wow. Listen, Miss Eric, I know we're coming up on our time, but I do. I would love for you before we close out, if you can leave us with two tools, two tools that the uh, listeners can use to help them get to the place where they are ready to um, release their message and turn their message into a movement. Mm. Yes, I would say, um, courtesy of Laquita's anointing, uh, today I am reminded that you must remove to move. So what, ask yourself these two questions. What is it that you need to remove in your life? Um, and just pray. If you don't know, I promise you, God will show you. People will start um, speaking of how we talked about the military move. Some of our stuff will get broken by the time we got to the new place. So whether you were ready to get rid of it or not, <laughs> you know, it got cleared out. And yeah. then know where are you moving to? Um, the mm -hmm. remove is telling you where you're starting, but then be comfortable, be excited, be okay with thinking about where it is you desire to be. Um, and again, uh, like I said, thank you, Laquita, because I'm about to make a T-shirt. Y'all going to be able to find a T-shirt at the event that says remove to move, <laughs> remove to move, because I think that's those are two keys. That's one of remove to move. When you get that T-shirt ready, make sure to let me know. I need about two, three of them. I need one for me. I need one for my daughter. I, and I got to get one to my BFF, you know, because we do things the same. So, <laughs> yeah, you know. well, I'll give you a, um, you won't get a special anointed code where you can oh. <laughs> get yours at a special rate since you inspired the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> amen. Amen. You'll see me. Yeah. I'll be, you know, I'll be, fl I'll be, I'll be wearing the t-shirt on some of my lives and whatnot. And when people say, Hey, I like that. This is where you get it. Go ahead. Tell the Lord. Thank you. Yes. you know, <laughs> from Amplify Her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Miss Thank you so much again for your yes. Thank you for being an amazing guest uh, on the Quita's Toolbox. It has been such a pleasure having you on to share your story and your journey and for the amazing tools uh, that you've shared that I know they've been a blessing to me. So I know that they're, they are a blessing to, to the listeners as well. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this amazing episode of Laquita's Toolbox. I am your host, Laquita Mondling. You guys be blessed and have an amazing rest of your day. Take care.